Hey guys, I'm back. Um, I had a really awesome visit with my mom. So, you know, I dropped her off at the airport yesterday. Um, so let's go ahead and get back to videos. Uh, welcome to the August monthly crystal healing part one. This is for Aries, Taurus, Gemini, Cancer, Leo, and Virgo. <laughs> It's like, let me count these out so I make sure I get them right. Uh, part two link will be down below for the rest of them. What, where did I stop that? Shit, hold on. Aries, Taurus, Gemini, <laughs> Cancer, Leo, Virgo. Oh, Libra, Scorpio, Sag, Cap, Aqua, and Pisces. Okay? All right, guys. So the way this is going to work for those who are not familiar with this kind of a video or my videos in general, um, I do this kind of video once a month just to help you get a gist of... Uh, what kind of crystals you guys might want to have for the month for anything that you might need protection from healing from a little assistance from the deck I'm using is the crystal wisdom healing oracle deck and the link for that is below if you guys would like to purchase it yourself I get all my stuff on Amazon's and I don't worry about it um, and yes I am now blonde <laughs> this is like what phase three phase four I don't even know but I will be purple next I just had to lift more and more color I can't wait to be purple anyway all right, guys, so the way this is going to work, I'm going to pull some cards from the crystal deck, and I will be reading the actual descriptions to you for each of the crystals. And the reason I'm doing that is because this is very general, okay? So as I read the descriptions, you will know if you need this crystal for yourself, okay? That's the only reason I read them. It's for you to decipher on your own if you need to actually go out and buy this crystal. No reason to spend money if you don't have to, right? And then after we pull the crystals, we're going to pull a few tarot cards to see why you really need these crystals, but we're not going to go into depth. We're just going to pull a few, see the gist of what's going on, okay? So starting with Aries, let's go ahead and see what's going on with you for August for these crystal healing, uh, for the crystal healing, for crystal healing. Uh, you guys are the first read of the day, so I am a little tired, so hang in there with me if I'm a little slow, all right? What crystals does Aries need for the month of August? What crystals do my Aries need for the month of August? I actually just heard success and uh, green. <laughs> success and green. You might be needing some uh, uh, crystals that lean on the green side, but it's interesting. I feel like you might also get citrine with that success energy. I feel like you guys are focused on your career. I feel like you guys are focused on your money, but let's see what crystals come out. What crystals do my Aries need? For the month of August. Oh, protection at work. Some of you are definitely need some protection at work, okay? What crystals do my Aries need for the month of August? Take these. <laughs> I love when I call it. Citrine. And what is this other one? Oh, Rainbow Mayanite. Okay, I'm liking that. Let's see what else we get out for you guys. A lot of orange, a lot of sacral energy, a lot of creative energy. You guys got a lot going on at work this month, okay? Keep that in mind, especially with all this Leo energy. A lot of people are getting quite feisty and very confident and very much just putting out all of their confidence and everything they've been kind of nurturing in the background is going to be coming out to the forefront, okay? Let's see what else we got here. Any other crystals Aries need for the month of August? Yeah, make sure you guys are really honing in your creative centers here and that you are staying creative. You're going to be needing that, I feel like, for the month of August. Ooh, oh shoot I can't say that oh no yes I can so guys I love crystals I love them to pieces but sometimes I can't pronounce all of them so that's also why I show you the cards my apologies if I don't pronounce these correctly polychrome jasper okay all right so let's go ahead and get into these descriptions here citrine mm, I love citrine it's a lot of sacral energy for you guys too which is why it's a lot about your creative centers but keep that in mind as far as your relationships are concerned as well because it is also about a lot of sexual energy all right so citrine abundance a stone of joy and abundance citrine helps you to interact creatively with the world it promotes inner calm you spend too much time worrying about home family and finances remember you are abundant being with who who manifests what you need you are an innocent wise child who yearns to play joyful play creates a wonderful world be grateful for you are blessed accept constructive criticism be emotionally balanced letting feelings flow naturally take time out for joyful play self-regard heals self-regard heals a damaged child Ooh, i'm wearing a lot of inner child stuff they keep bringing that up for you guys 
Abundance is all around you. You attract success and prosperity. Stop worrying. Be optimistic and allow life to happen. Trust your intuition and perception. Consult the wise child within. Your thoughts on the bigger picture are correct. If there is family discord, harmony is restored through praise. True abundance comes from within. If you nurture your desires, you bring joy to your wise child self. This zone is a very high frequency and it's great for all chakras for cleansing, activating, and recharging all chakras. It's also great for Aries, Geminis, Leos, Libras, and for embodying abundance. Oh, I love that stone for you guys. Now let's move on to Rainbow Mayanites. I can get to the description for you guys. Okay. Rainbow Mayanite, the Rainbow Bridge. Rainbow Mayanite bridges this world and the rest of creation. It heals unconditionally and assists the shift to a new level of consciousness. You are a leader. Aries, yes you are, you are the leaders, you're number one, right? When you raise your vibrations, the whole benefits. De-energize old patterns, release karmic encrustations and toxic droves from your etheric body. This crystal will assist in this. Go within to find your rainbow treasure house. Raise your consciousness to build new supportive structures at every level. Recognize how your soul is maneuvering you onto your true pathway. Apparently, detrimental situations offer soul gifts. <laughs> Re-examine projects and let go of those that are not for your highest good or that of others. You see things from both sides. I'll always speak true, no matter what the cost, but be tactful. I'm going to say that again. Be tactful, Aries. Be tactful. You have natural healing ability. Focus it wisely. Letting go attunes you to a realm of infinite possibilities. The frequency of the stone is extremely high. It's great for the stellar gateway and soul star. Uh, it's also great for Aquarians and being a rainbow bridge between worlds. So a lot of leveling up of your consciousness, again, focusing in on your creativity and being a lot more tapped into your inner child, making sure your inner child is good and healed, okay? Now let's get into this polychrome jasper. Polychrome Jasper, belonging. Polychrome Jasper is a shaman stone that assists while traveling between worlds. Oh my gosh, Aries, what are you up to? What are you up to? I would not be surprised if we get the high priestess in your tarot cards. Uh, while traveling between worlds offers protection while you travel, it helps you to remember why you're living on earth. You belong to a greater group, be it a family or clan. If you feel isolated, reach out to others of strength rather than neediness. The stone offers you security. For companionship, choose an animal ally. Sorry, guys. My guys were talking to me for a second. So, guys, for anybody who actually is on the shaman path, you already know if you already are. Be sure that you actually do meditate enough to connect to the lower worlds so that you can see all of your spirit totems and your spirit animals to know which one that you really need to harness right now. Okay? Uh, ground your efforts in the practical, everyday world. You have the gift of meditation and see all sides of an issue. Big changes are in the offing. Offing? Why does that sound weird? That's how it's typed. There's, I've noticed there's some grammatical errors in here and some spelling errors in here, just saying. Con concentrate on practical outcomes. Be down to earth, but pay attention to dreams. Balance your emotional energies and nurture yourself to find joy. Find your power ally and stay under its protection and guidance. Give assistance to others who seek freedom. Guard against giving away your power. Dis-ease arises out of ancestral distress carried in DNA. Healing and forgiveness sent down your family line replace this with well-being. This frequency of the of the stone is very earthy. It's actually really great for the spleen, uh, earth star, and soma. Uh, great for Leos, Libras, and Aquarians, and integration and reconnection. So Aries, it seems like a lot of you are needing to do a lot of family healing, a lot of family work. I feel like some of you might even be breaking away from your family to find your, your true family, your soul tribe, right? Our families are great, our blood families anyway. They're not always part of our soul tribe. Or at least some members are some members aren't right finding your soul tribe really being happy in your work and understanding that you are really rich in abundance in a spiritual sense in all the t in all the what it means to be abundant not just financial not just material especially those in family businesses please be very mindful in this time that there might be a lot of drama going on but there will be resolution okay so let's go ahead pull some tarot cards for you guys okay Why do Aries need these crystals? Why does Aries need these crystals for the month of August? What's going on with Aries that they need these crystals for the month of August? They just keep telling me work, 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 work. That's seriously what they just keep telling me. 
want to Aries need these crystals for the month of August? Why do Aries need these crystals for the month of August? Yeah, I feel like especially for those of you who work with family, like this might be a time of breaking away. Okay, please, please be mindful of that. Why do Aries need these crystals for the month of August? Oh, there we go. Oh, because you got some worries that you need to get rid of. Nine of Swords in reverse. This is releasing fear, releasing anxiety, being more confident, being a lot more confident. Aries, you usually are very confident. You are very alpha. You usually are the leaders, right? You're usually not afraid to speak your mind. But like, just like the description said, please be tactful. But you need these crystals because I do feel the sense of needing to break away because you've been way too stressed out, way too anxiety ridden. And I feel like it's from pressures from other people that have been placed on you and not necessarily doing what you've been wanting to do because of these other people making you making you like this <laughs> making you anxiety ridden and really bringing your fears to the surface it's time to let that go it's time to let that go especially in regards to family they're bringing in family really strong even if you work with them or not definitely in regards to your family it's time to let some of that anxiety go Let's see here now we have oh my justice in reverse libra energy Ooh, ton of cups in reverse, Piscean energy, the death card, Scorpionic energy. Wow, an ace of cups in reverse. Oh, Aries, my goodness. Some of you are definitely experiencing a lot of upheaval in the home. As far as emotions are concerned, a lot of people in the home are upset. A lot of people in the family are upset. It could be over something legal, not necessarily, but major injustices, I'm hearing criticism, criticism, a lot of criticism, that needs to change. That needs to change. That needs to be put to an end. Like I said, Aries, I do feel you breaking away from the situation for your own sanity, your own health, your own abundance you, for you. Okay, do it for you because this Ace of Cups in reverse, you're not feeling a whole lot of love and support. You're not feeling a whole lot of love and support from your family right now or whoever is in your home environment. Doesn't necessarily have to be family. It could also be your roommates, right? But this is about the emotions of the home. You ain't happy. You're not feeling love. You're not feeling respected. It's time to break away. It's time to break away. Let's see what else we get here. Some of you might even be thinking about getting a divorce. Why do Aries need these crystals for the month of August? Oh, see, and look at you. There you are, Aries, speaking your truth. Knight of Swords. Gemini energy could also be air or fire. This is you being honest, being brutally honest, right? Knight of Swords is very quick, uh, bleh, quick conversation, <laughs> quick communication. It can also be very aggressive, but it's truthful. It's truthful. Why do Aries need these crystals for the month of August? I'm also hearing blame. Blame. Wheel of Fortune. See, the second you go ahead, speak your truth and break away. Oh, oh, focus. Speak your truth and break away. The wheel starts turning for you. You're going to have a lot of fortune come in and abundance start to come in even more into your life. You have more abundance than you realize, Aries. You have more abundance than you realize, but you're going to get more once you start speaking your truth and breaking away from this really unpleasant, awful situation that needs to end. It needs to change. It needs to for your own sanity. Wow. Look, <laughs> Knight of Wands in reverse, Sagittarian energy could also be Aries or Leo. This actually just fell in the Ten of Cups when it came out, which tells me that this is an, an energy that's going on in the home in the home environment or in the family, whichever resonates with you. This is very violent energy, very unpredictable energy. I feel like someone just flies off the handle really easily, very easy to trigger, very hard to approach. Like you can't really approach whoever this energy, oh, it's multiple people. It's an energy that stems from one person, but it's taken over the dynamic of the group. It's taken over the dynamic of the group where it's like everyone's really trigger happy, everyone's really extra sensitive. So if you were to say something, to you know make a suggestion it's like instantly you get this violent aggressive reaction someone needs to work on their constructive criticism skills they're not they they're, they like to use that as an excuse i'm just giving you some constructive criticism it ain't constructive <laughs> it's insulting right it's it's that kind of energy overall we do have the queen of swords libra energy could also be air or water i'm actually getting for a few of you this is a matriarchal figure could even be a divorcee or a widower not necessarily but i'm getting the energy of kind of like very very cutting in their words very very icy in their demeanor 
uh, really not giving a shit about how they come off to people because they kind of think of themselves as like HBSC, head bitch in charge, male or female. It's that kind of energy where they easily cut people down and have no qualms about it. This person thinks they have a lot of power. I think is also the issue here. They think they have a lot of power and they love to cut people down. And Aries, I feel like they love to do that to you. And the fact that you're coming across as a knight, this could definitely be someone you're related to, okay? They could be older than you. I do feel like they're older than you. They are older than you. It's like you're standing up for yourself. You're standing up for yourself like, you know what? This, this shit ain't healthy. This shit is not healthy. You don't really care about me. You only care about yourself. You just care about you and your power tripping shit. Like that's all you seem to care about. And I'm not gonna live with anxiety and fear anymore. I'm not gonna live under your thumb anymore. It feels very familial, very familial. Some of you, this could be going on in the work environment where this is more of a boss figure who really doesn't, um, even if they're like, let's say they're like a co-president or a co-CEO or something of that nature, even if they have other people in their rank, they don't treat them as such. They don't treat them as such, right? And Aries, you've felt the brunt of that and you're like, no, nope. <laughs> I'm not sticking around for this shit. I'm not tolerating this shit. I don't have to tolerate this shit, okay? I also feel like for some of you, there, I'm getting a little bit of a romance energy here. Uh, or maybe this person was very disproving of a relationship or a person and it left you very unhappy. I'm getting because this person's very overly critical, more of that power tripping energy. I, I think this person, was, yeah, they were threatened. This person was threatened by this love interest or relationship because they thought of it as they would lose their power, they'd lose their stance or something like that because of this person or relationship. And it just caused a lot of unhappiness here. A lot of unhappiness, a lot of sadness, a lot of anxiety for you, Aries, and you've just had enough. And good for you, good for you, okay? All right, that was intense, Aries. Let's go ahead and do Taurus. Let's go ahead and do Taurus. Mm, Taurus, 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 Taurus. Oh, I'm feeling a big shift of energy from Aries to Taurus. So even if you're a cusper, you might have a lot going on. Because Taurus, you guys are feeling very different from your neighbors here. Getting a lot of grounded energy coming in. It feels really good, actually. I just got the Eight of Pentacles. Taurus, Taurus. Uh, what crystals do my Taurians need for the month of August? Taurus, you're very grounded and you're very much in your heart space too, but it's like, it's not, it might have started out very emotional, maybe even a little intense, but it's very much mellowed out. You feel just very balanced right now. You might not get that many crystals. What crystals do my Taurians need for the month of August? Hmm. I like it. I like your energy. I think you guys are working a lot. Don't work too hard. It is summer. Enjoy your summer. But you're happy. You're just very happy. <laughs> I just heard when you go, I could have more though. <laughs> I could have more happiness. Nothing wrong with that. Let's see what we have here. Ooh. Anandalite. I believe that's how you say that. Anandalite. It's a very beautiful crystal. Let's see what other crystals you guys have out here. Getting a lot of purification, a lot of purification. I think you guys are just working on cleaning house in your career and in love and just in your life in general. Oh yeah, and as we get amethyst, we have amethyst and I can never say this one, Car carnelian? Car carnelian, 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 anyway. You guys can see it, you know how it's spelled. They're beautiful. We're going to go over them anyway. Um, especially with that amethyst, I'm getting a lot of self-love and like surrounding yourself with positivity and optimism. Yeah, you're cutting away people that are really negative or toxic. People who are just not up to your vibration. And you're just like, oh, yeah, yeah. You're holding me back. I don't need that in my life. Any other crystals that my Taurians need for the month of August? Okay. All right. So we got these three crystals. Let's go ahead and get into the descriptions here. Reading them in order. Oh, very nice. Very nice, Taurus. An end delight. Cosmic consciousness. Gently facilitates integration and releases emotional blockages, standing in the way of spiritual awakening. <laughs> what did I just say? It might have started out emotional, but you're balancing out your emotions. Yeah, it reminds us that consciousness is... Uh, oh, God, I can't say this word. Omnipresent. <laughs> omnipresent <laughs> seeing all knowing all immerse yourself in the mystical interconnectedness that is cosmic consciousness you have the potential to live in a completely different dimension of consciousness recognize that you previously operated within a narrow band of awareness 
again more of getting rid of that emotional shit right getting more emotionally balanced Attune to flashes of divine light within your soul. Let feelings of separation fall away. Embrace unity. You are here to express experience, cosmic consciousness. Transform your goals and seek a new direction. You have exceptionally clear sight now. Strip to the bone as the old falls away. Do not despair. New light is infused. When you transform your awareness, humanity experiences a quantum shift. Enlightenment can happen right now. You are part of everything and everything is a part of you. The stone has an exceptionally high frequency. It's great for the soul star and stellar gateway. And it's really good for just being in the present moment, trying to get more into that meditative state, right? Really enjoying the now, not really focusing on ahead, what's ahead, not holding on to the past, just experiencing the now. Becoming a vessel for cosmic consciousness. I love that, Taurus. I love that. Okay, let's go ahead and look at Amethyst. Amethyst, inner peace, a powerful protector, purifier, and natural tranquilizer. Amethyst calms the mind and balance extremes. You have an addictive personality. <laughs> Make a concentrated effort to overcome such behavior or obsessions of any kind and avoid overindulgence. Balance work and play. You are prone to excess in both. Understanding... <laughs> Is that not so Torian? <laughs> Sorry. You're Venus, right? You're Venus. So anyone who has strong Venus influence or who is like a sun or rising Taurus or Libra, very focused on the beautiful things in life, the indulgence, the, the intoxication of life, which is usually around money or, you know, fun, <laughs> fun. So anyway, keeping it going. Understanding hidden causes of compulsive actions brings peace. Hand your will over to your soul and allow your spirituality to flourish. Some of you might actually be detoxing and going to rehab. I don't know why that just came in. Some of you might be experiencing that during the month of August. Um, release self-defeating programs. Do not rely on others. You create anything you set your mind to. Be shrewd in business dealings. Pay attention to your family. An honest verdict and success in a court case are possible. Maintain your integrity and let the universe decide. Letting go of cravings leads to inner freedom and creates well-being. The stone has a very um, high frequency to exceptionally high frequency. It's great for the third eye and the crown. Great for Aquarians and Pisceans and developing unshakable inner peace. I like it. I like it, Taurus. All right. Now reading this last one. If we get any repeats during the video for other signs, I'm not going to repeat the descriptions. You just go back and I'll tell you what signs had them. Okay. Carne Carnelian. Carnelian. Creativity. Protects against glamours or spells, envy, and the evil eye. Bringing good fortune to the wear. Oh, oh, yeah, Taurus, be careful. As you're raising your vibration here and gaining more self-love, gaining more inner peace, detoxing, even going to rehab, some people might be jealous of that. Some people might not like that, okay? Uh, remain calm during disputes and the self-control not to follow the crowd. Courage in the face of danger comes from inner, inner strength, not foolhardiness. Your family means a lot to you. Your sexual drive is strong. <laughs> Very Torian. Lust or aggression has been a problem in a past life. Direct it toward creativity and raising kundalini energy. Be eloquent, creative, and bold. Do not back down. Trust your intuitive perceptions. Distinction in your career lies ahead. Be a mentor. Alleviate stress. Take time to play. You are a tower of strength during sorrow. Stay anchored in the present. Let go of emotional ties or outdated projects holding you back. Be aware of a care of a char charismatic person. <laughs> Be aware of a charismatic person, okay? Sufficient vitamins and minerals support your metabolism for optimum well-being during this time. The stone has a very earthy frequency to high, depending on the clarity of the stone. Great for the sacral and the root chakras. It's also great for Taurians, <laughs> Cancers, Leos, Virgos, and Scorpios, and great for expressing soul vitality. Yeah, Taurus, you're just getting back to you and really working on your own health and your own frequency. You're just, you're just... You're just trying to be better. You're just trying to be better. And there's nothing wrong with that. But people are going to be upset. People are going to be upset. People are always upset when you improve yourself. Always. So let's go ahead and see what we got in your tarot reading here. Why do my Taurians need these stones? For the month of August. Why do my Taurians need these stones for the month of August? I did just hear self-help. Some of you might be getting some self-help books or listening to more inspirational speakers. What am I touring using these stones for the month of August? 
Also meditation practice as well. Uh, make sure that you are working on that during this time. It's really gonna help you. Really gonna help you, especially if any of you are battling addictions. Oh boy. Oh, looky there. Someone's mad. <laughs> Five of Swords, Aquarian energy. Then we had this batch come out. Oh yeah, Taurus, I love this energy for you. The Fool, Aries energy, also Aquarius, because this is a Uranus card. And then the Hermit, Virgo energy with the Four of Cups, uh, Cancerian energy. I, I do feel some of you are trying to not drink as much. We're almost like, I'm not gonna drink, I'm not gonna drink, I'm not gonna take that cup, stop trying to make me take that cup. Yeah, it's like some of you are trying really hard to um, go within, raise your vibration, to start a new cycle for yourself, a clean cycle. I just heard a clean cycle. I feel like there have been people around you who really haven't wanted, who really haven't had your best interest at heart. Um, very defeating energy, trying to keep you bogged down. For those of you who do experience addictions or issues with um, overindulgence, they're enablers. They've been enabling this behavior because it keeps them, it keeps you kind of in their control a little bit to keep enabling those behaviors. But you're not taking that drink. You're not taking it. You're not taking that cigarette. You're not taking that drink. You're not taking that slice of pizza, whatever it is. <laughs> whatever behaviors you're trying to get rid of to be more clean, you're spending time thinking about how to do this and you're walking away from enablers, okay, which is beautiful. Let's see what else we have here. Why do my Taurians need these crystals for the month of August? Why do Taurians need these crystals for the month of August? Oh, strength, Leo energy, look at you, Taurus, getting all confident, getting strong in your will. Strong in <laughs> your Taurus, do you need more strength than your will? But maybe some of you do. Um, just getting more confident and a lot stronger and not allowing people to influence you as easily. Not always, And also not worrying about other people is also what I'm getting. Not worrying about what other people think, right? Like these enablers. Just really getting rid of that and being very strong in what you want for yourself. I love that. I love that. Why do my Taurians need these crystals? The month of August. Oh yeah, hanged man, Piscean energy. Spending more time getting enlightened. You have the hermit and the hanged man out here. Um, not surprised, they usually follow each other. <laughs> I've noticed that. They usually follow each other. I feel like one is more internal introspection while one is actually external, trying to get guidance from your guides or your faith, that sort of energy. I do feel two different energies now. I'm starting to feel two different energies. I feel like this is more for um, like a friendship, could even be for a romance. It could definitely be for a romance, but I'm feeling a friendship first and foremost, which is beautiful. If you're lovers and you're also like besties, that's really beautiful energy. Where Taurus, you're more in this energy of getting clean, whatever clean is for you, okay? Getting clean, reaching a higher level of enlightenment and not allowing enablers to um, keep you off your path, not allowing enablers to keep you bogged down, to keep you from rise, raising in your vibration. Well, I feel an energy over here, a very feminine energy, who is very strong of will. <laughs> oh, Taurus. <laughs> a Taurus dealing with someone who's strong of will. I just heard hard-headed. Both of you might be a little stubborn. <laughs> oh, not just a little. Oh my God, tell me. Wow, not just a little. And there's a little bit of a mirroring effect here, Taurus, that I'm picking up on. While you're raising your vibration and getting clean, whatever clean is for you, there's an energy over here that's also getting more enlightened, but I do feel like this person usually likes to spend time alone, usually is isolated in their own right. This person's vibration is very high, and I think that's why they spend a lot of time alone. You know, it's, it, it is unfortunate, but the truth of it is not that many people have a high vibration in this world, proportionally speaking. If you look at the whole population, it's like, you know, what percentage of people are vibrating really high? What percentage of people are vibrating really low? More people vibrate low. So if you can't find people of your frequency, you're gonna spend a lot of time alone. But I find this person doesn't really mind that. They don't mind that, but they are getting more enlightened here. I feel like they might even be going through an ascension or a second ascension. Oh, that's interesting. Um, they're getting upgrades in their energy and in their spirituality. Yeah, but it, it's interesting because Taurus, oh my God, it's such a mirroring effect. While you're dealing with your own indulgences your own indulgences i think this person is too they're learning to tame something about themselves which is leading to this ascension leveling up they're learning to tame something about themselves and it could also honestly 
be indulgences just like you oh i like that though i really like that on the bottom we have wow whoa i was not expecting that king of swords in reverse aquarian energy could also be gemini or libra underneath that we do have the ten of swords gemini energy i'm getting ending of selfish ways ending of a very egotistic egotistically driven ways it's really hard to say um and a lot of miscommunication ending of that um you know taurus this person if i believe you know them but i don't think you're talking to them and i feel that there's an ending of uh com of non-communication coming ending of non-communication yeah, ending of non-communication. Also ending manipulative, narcissistic uh, relationships. The enablers, essentially. Putting an end to that shit. Putting an end to that shit. I do feel a lot of manipulation behind that with these enablers. They knew what they were doing, Taurus. They knew what they were doing. They wanted to keep you in that state of overindulgence. They wanted to keep you in that state of not reaching your highest potential because it made them feel better. And I feel a little bit of reliance. Like they kind of needed you in their life to be in that state it's really interesting but either way taurus you're looking beautiful you're ascending you're reaching new levels in your spirituality and in healing as well you're getting clean whatever clean is for you okay all right so let's do gemini where are my cards okay hey gemini's all right let's see what crystals you guys need for the month of august oh gemini's i just heard it's gonna be okay that tells me you're worried. What crystals do my Geminis need for the month of August? Oh, Geminis, do not get in your head. Do not get in. I, I just felt energy shoot up, uh, shoot up to my, my third eye and my crown from like my roots. Like that was a quick little burst of energy. Do not go into your head. Oh, I got the chills. Um, <laughs> turquoise. Turquoise, that's a beautiful stone right there. I love that energy. Turquoise actually can be used for many different things. I actually love turquoise to keep my third eye and my throat chakra balanced and clear so I don't overthink or I don't um, just spew word vomit out of nervousness. That's for me personally. I'm just sharing you some of my personal tidbits. But definitely this is about your throat chakra and your third eye, okay? Um, yeah, do not, do not overthink. Ooh, oh shoot, I can't say that. Um... Don't make fun of me. I can't say this one. A joint? A joint. A joint. A joint day? I don't know. A joint. A joint. Beautiful crystal. Getting a lot of crown energy with that, actually. We'll, we'll see what the description says. I'm actually not familiar with this one personally, but I'm getting a lot of crown chakra energy with that. What crystals do my Geminis need for the month of August? Geminis, whatever you're like, you're trying not to over overly worry about. Um, I do feel like it is something that you want to share, something regarding communication, but you're worried you're going to fuck it up or you're worried it's like, you're just worried about how it's going to go. You're worried about how it's going to go. Why are you so worried, Gemini? Because I need this to go right. Okay, because you need it to go right. What crystals do my Geminis need for the month of August? Some of you could even be like, maybe maybe you want a promotion at work and you're like, God, how do I approach this? Because it feels a lot of, ner I feel a lot of nervous energy. A lot of like nine of swords, nervous energy. And then we have rose quartz. Oh, Geminis. Some of you want to have a conversation about love, about some feelings, about some feelings here. I'm just going to show you that again, Rose Quartz. I don't know why they want me to show you this again. Rose Quartz. They just told me to do it, so I'm just doing it. Rose Quartz. Oh. Oh, Geminis. Okay, this is going to be a little bit of a tough one. I can feel the emotions behind this. So not only are you trying to not be in your head and, like, anxiety about whatever it is you want to talk about, but I feel a lot of emotion involved in this, and I'm trying to push back the tears because I'm not going to cry, okay? Well, let's go ahead and get into it. I'm so sorry you guys okay that shouldn't have happened okay let's go ahead and get into turquoise oh Gemini's. too early to cry too early to cry turquoise true riches a copper-based stone attracting good fortune since antiquity turquoise is popular for protective amulets uh, sacred to venus and to the and to buddha it linked earth and sky and made a potent love charm <laughs> Gemini's, 
why do I want to cry so bad right now? Your pathway is one of self-realization. Qualities you cultivate now drive your spiritual evolution forward. Draw on your karmic wisdom and past life skills. Release vows that no longer serve you. And speak what used to be unspeak what used to be unspeakable. Speak what used to be unspeakable. Gemini's. Do you want to confess some feelings to somebody? That's what I'm thinking here. Ooh, watch your health and avoid polluted environments. Brilliant success and happiness are coming. Fortune favors you. You navigate the, for the way forward with sure-footed confidence, but watch your personal safety and deal with problems immediately. Good friends accompany you. You are in the spotlight and others rely on you. Your true riches lie not in the bank, but in your heart. Not in the bank, but in your heart. Oh, God. Ah. The stone has a very uh, medium frequency to high frequency. Great for the throat chakra and third eye chakra, just as I was already telling you guys. Great for Scorpios, Sagis, and Pisceans, and for attuning um, to inner riches. I'm going to cry. I know I'm going to cry. Anyway, moving on to the next one. Adjoit, adjoit, adjoit. Compassionate being. Adjoit brings about a profound spiritual revelation drawing out karmic wounds this crystal reframes cellular memory and past contracts you are a being of infinite love and compassion oh it's gonna be all about love for you gemini's find your core of ultimate peace and universal love release your toxic emotions replacing them with forgiveness compassion and serenity what you have been through allows you to appreciate the pain of another's path do not absorb their pain remain dispassionate Detach gracefully and move on. Put down your burdens, knowing you are a being of light. Resolve conflicts and forgive those who wounded you. Give someone a second chance. <laughs> Geminis, I feel like some of you might be dealing with another Gemini. I'm feeling one energy of like wanting to confess love, um, even um, regret. I'm also getting a little bit of regret. While another one is like just so full of unconditional love and wanting that, wanting that in return. There's a lot. Of, there's a lot of love going on here, Gemini's. A lot of love here. Uh, let's see, where was I? Honor your promises. Find the best solution for everyone. Let your dispassionate compassion encompass all. Charity or volunteer work is indicated. In immersing yourself in the love of the divine automatically leads to health and happiness. The stone has a very high frequency. It's great for the third eye, the crown, the heart, the throat, and the soul star chakras. Great for Virgos and Aquarians and for keeping an open, compassionate heart. Someone needs to forgive someone here. It's so clear. Someone really needs to forgive someone here. And someone's wanting that forgiveness. Really wanting that forgiveness. And I'm getting a lot of confession energy as well. Rose Quartz, unconditional love. Rose Quartz is full of unconditional love and infinite peace. It draws loving relationships to you. Helps heal uh, emotional traumas of the past or provides support during a crisis. You are a beautiful soul who has infinite peace deep within and enormous empathy. Relationships are where you learn your soul lessons. Heal heartbreak or abuse and dissolve toxic emotions and pain that prevent you from giving and receiving love. You have power to love unconditionally and to support others. Forgive yourself. Love and beauty approach. Loneliness is at the end. Emotional is at an end. Not the end. <laughs> Loneliness is at the end. Sorry, guys. It's my bad. Emotional blockages dissolve. Do not accept blame. Recognize that unconditional love and friendship draw exactly the right people to you. Once you love yourself, you can give and receive love from others. Support is available in a crisis. Unconditional love is the greatest gift you can give to yourself or another. The stone is of medium frequency to high, depending on the clarity of the stone. Great for the heart chakra, Taurians and Libras, and for radiating unconditional love. Love, 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 love. And all about communication and in the upper chakras for you guys for August. Oh my. Oh my. Let's go ahead see why you need these stones Woo! You guys are messing with my heart chakra why do my Gemini's need these stones for the month of August why do my Gemini's need these stones for the month of August why do my Gemini's need these stones for the month of August they keep telling me forgiveness and forgiveness isn't just between two people. It is of yourself as well. But some of you are definitely dealing with another person where there's an exchange of, of, a, of an apology, forgiveness, and giving a second chance to someone. Someone wants a second chance. They might have not been very honest in the beginning, which is why we're also getting a lot of throat chakra energy here, along with heart chakra energy. Why don't I Gemini see these crystals for the month of August? 
Why do my Geminis need these crystals for the month of August? Ooh, Geminis, Knight of Swords, Gemini energy, also air and fire, communication, very, very quick, rushing in, I'm hearing rushing in, barging in, oh, barging in, <laughs> barging in with the truth, barging with the truth, I do feel a sense, and don't get offended by this word, guys, but I do feel a sense of, like, desperation, I don't like that word, but that's a deprivation that's a deprivation. That's, that's the word they're giving me is, um, is desperation. That's the energy that I'm picking up here. Like desperately needing to talk is how I'm going to put it. It's not like you're desperate and easy. No, it's, it's just a, an energy of desperate to talk, desperate to speak the truth, desperate to get this truth out there and clarity on the table. Why do my Geminis need these crystals? For the month of August, keep in mind, Geminis, you could be on the receiving end of this. You don't necessarily have to be the one doing the communicating. Why do my Geminis need these crystals? Oh, five of wands in reverse. Cause no, cause someone doesn't want to fight anymore. Oh my God. Someone doesn't want to fight anymore. They don't want tension. They don't want any conflicts. They just want to clear the air. They just want peace here. You are this person. Oh, see, oh, seven of wands in reverse, putting down walls, putting down defenses. I'm, oh, someone is really sorry here. Someone's really sorry for whatever transpired. I am getting embarrassment. Like someone's a little ashamed of how they acted. Someone's a little ashamed of how they acted. Why do my Geminis need these crystals? Oh my. Seven of Pentacles in reverse, Taurian energy, and Five of Swords, Aquarian energy, uh, sorry, yes, Aquarian energy, Venus and Aquarius to be specific, and then we have the Hierophant, Taurian energy. Someone's learned from their mistakes. Someone's learned from their past mistakes. They know they made a mistake. They know they made a mistake. Seven of Pentacles is literally, in reverse, is a mistake. <laughs> it's making the wrong decisions on your path, but, um, not using your time or efforts wisely. Five of Swords is a very combative energy, just like the Five of Wands, right? Very, very combative energy. And the Hierophant is about learning. It's about teaching. It's also about divine guidance. Someone's really learned their lessons here. I'm also getting they've learned more about themselves as to why they did what they did. Any, oh, oh, Three of Cups, reconciliation and celebration. I love this energy, Gemini. This is really beautiful. This is Cancerian energy, just really wanting to be happy again. Really wanting to be happy again, wanting to celebrate, wanting to reconnect. Why do my Geminis need these crystals for the month of August? Why do my Geminis need these crystals for the month of August? Wow. Six of Cups in reverse. Scorpionic energy. Also past life karmic soulmate energy for me as a reader. Oh, someone's missing the good times. This Knight of Swords is really missing the good times, which is why they want to reconcile. They're just, they're really missing this other person. They're really missing this, this other person. Why do my Geminis need these crystals? Oh, that's it. Overall energy, hanged man. Piscean energy underneath that. We do have the Page of Cups and apology. Someone's been thinking about giving this apology for a very, very, very long time is what I'm gathering. They've been very conflicted inside. Maybe even a little anxiety ridden, a little Nine of Swords energy that I'm picking up here. But they're ready to talk about it because they miss this. They miss this energy. They want the energy. They're sorry. They are sorry. They're going to speak the truth. Oh. They're going to be very honest and speak the truth about putting down defenses, not wanting to fight, not having any conflicts anymore, just really having peace, just really having a lot of peace. And they are embarrassed of how they acted and they've learned from their mistakes, learn from their mistakes here. Oh, Geminis, that's beautiful. I love that. I really love that. Okay. All right. Let's go ahead and get into Cancer. All right, Cancers. Let's see where you guys are at for August. Oh, my hair got a little flat. Okay. <laughs> Okay, Cancers, what crystals do my Cancers need for the month of August? What crystals do my Cancers need for the month of August? This is gonna be a, a stitched video, so if there's like a second missing, it's just because it started a new video. I don't know if my phone does that. There's no feature to shut it off, but when it hits about this, this time, it just starts a second video. It's so weird, anyway. What do my cancer? What ugh, what crystals do my cancers need for the month of August? Mm. What crystals do my cancers need for the month of August? Oh, cancers! Are you needing protection? 
I'm getting a sense of worry. I'm getting a sense of worry. What crystals do my cancers need? Oh, oh, we got a bloodstone. Bloodstone cancers. This is the first stone that we have for you for the month of August. Let's see what else we get out here. What other crystals do my cancers need for the month of August? I do feel concern and worry, but it, it's small. It's like, it's just hanging out in your belly. It's hanging out in your solar. Don't let your confidence be shaken right now by whatever's going on in your life. Yeah, don't let your confidence waver right now. Something tells me whatever it is you're worried about, you do have you do have a right to be worried about it, but worrying about it's not gonna be constructive, okay? What crystals do my cancers need for the month of August? Oh, 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 oh cancer. Could we do with some gem cancer cuspers here? Rose quartz, rose quartz. Oh my. Some of you are a little worried because I think some of you might be wondering if your partner is leaving you. Yeah, you might be worried that your partner is leaving you here. What crystals do my cancers need for the month of August? Whoa. Golden healer. Well, I'm just going to keep that up here so you guys can really take a look at that. That's an amazing crystal. I've never seen that one before. Golden healer. What crystals do my cancers need for the month of August? Okay, that's it. All right, so let's get into these descriptions here. Oh, you're making my you're making my solar all hot, Cancer. <laughs> Doesn't feel right. Okay, Bloodstone, perseverance. Bloodstone has always had a powerful connection with maintaining vitality, regulating menstruation, and staunching blood loss, as well as purifying the kidneys. You are a magical being and um, of your own individuality, your family, and your environment. Let go of the past. Look closely at your ancestral line. Recognize toxic patterns subconsciously running your life. Break away and be strong. Defensive. Acknowledge mistakes and let inner disharmonies be transmuted. Detoxification and chaos precede transmutation. Perseverance is needed. Locked doors open. Obstacles are swept away and romance blossoms. Ooh, cancer. Preserve your good reputation. Recognize your enemies and keep them close. Do not be deceived. A farewell is called for. Some of you are worried you're about to lose your partner. I'm just saying. Whether it's true or not, as far as them actually leaving, that's what you're worried about. A farewell is called for. Mourn appropriately and let go. You are a spiritual warrior. Be assertive. Nourish your blood and revitalize your whole body. This has an earthy frequency. It's great for purifying and aligns the lower chakras. Great for Aries, Libras, and Pisceans, and for freedom of the past. I'm not going to repeat Rose Quartz because we just read it for uh, Gemini. Gemini just had this, so I'm not going to read it in case for those of you are just using the timestamps. So go ahead and, do, and look at Gemini for that description. Decide if you really need Rose Quartz or not. Golden Healer, Ultimate Healing. Golden Healers are imbued with powerful, transformative healing energies. They are a catalyst for profound spiritual activation. Understanding the quantum world helps you understand yourself. The everyday self is bound by five senses. I'm hearing, why did this happen? I just heard, why did this happen? And why is this happening? <sighs> Calm it down, Cancer. It's okay. You're going to be okay, all right? Things happen for a reason. Remember that. The everyday self is bounded by five senses, expanded by a six metaphysics but this can be trans transcended to move into a field that is non-local everywhere and nowhere at once where there is no time you create the event by being by being observant allow your soul rather than your ego to be your guide recognize your potential to be an amazing healer your abilities needed honing and those who heal are soul scored to develop empathy that's a really weird sentence. Much in your life needs transforming. Surrender willingly to the process. Someone clinging to the past holds you back. Encourage them to let go. You may be asked to transform your environment or take on a challenging task. Do so with grace and ease. Healing flows through you. It is a process, not something you do. The stone has a very exceptionally high frequency. Great for the soul star and stellar gateway. And this is great to, for being in the moment. Just like, well, who else had a stone like that? Someone else had a stone like that of being in the moment. Was it Taurus? I think it was Taurus. Anyway. And great for uh, channeling Christ consciousness. So, Cancers, I'm definitely getting energies where someone has outgrown a situation, outgrown a relationship, and someone hasn't done their own growing 
they can't really let go of what was in a relationship and it's it might be time to separate okay but let's go ahead and get into the into the tarot reading and see what comes out but that's just what i'm getting intuitively and if that resonates with you you already know your answer okay what what at whichever side you're on whether you're the one that's already grown or the one that hasn't you already know your answer why do my cancers need these stones i just heard anemia i just heard anemia not surprised a bloodstone out here uh please be mindful of that if you already know you have that condition if you some of you might not know you have that condition um some of you might not know you have that condition you might be feeling really weak really tired um, you might be craving like beets or meat like raw meat even if you're craving raw meat it's time to go to the doctor okay just saying it's time to go to the doctor all right why do my cancers need these stones for the month of august why do my cancers need these stones for the month of August? Why do my cancers need these stones for the month of August? Why do my cancers need these stones? Let's see what we got here. Oh yeah. Cancer, it couldn't be clearer. Three of Cups in reverse and Two of Cups in reverse. This like this this connection has run its course. Um, this is soulmate energy over here. Both Cancerian energies. This this connection's run its course. It's run its course. It's done its job. And then we have the Empress over here. Libra energy, Taurus energy, Divine Feminine energy with the Fool. Someone's ready to break away and start a new a new to start a new. This Empress is ready. This Empress is ready to grow because they've already grown a lot and they're just on that fast track, Cancer, and I do feel like this is your energy. You're ready to break away from a relationship or to just break away from an old way of doing things and old situations. Either way, starting anew because you are a new person. And if you are in a relationship, it's it's run its course. It's run its course. I'm sorry. I, I don't mean to be so blunt about that. But if Cancer, if this is resonating with you, you've already been feeling that. You've already been feeling it. And it's just been something that you might have been wanting to avoid because, you know, maybe you do really care about this person. You know, I mean, no, there's nothing wrong with that. Sometimes breakups happen not because you don't love them anymore, just because it's run its course, right? You've learned your lessons. They learned their lessons. You've clearly grown a lot. And sometimes people can't keep up with your growth. And that's the hard, hard problem with relationships. Like people constantly change. People constantly grow. And if you don't grow together or grow in a way that's compatible with each other, Sometimes breakups happen. Sometimes they need to happen, right? Why do my cancers need these stones for the month of August? Oh, wow. See, look at that. The world, fixed energy. So Aquarius, Leo, Taurus, Scorpio. Also Saturn, neutrals, Capricorn. Starting a whole new cycle. Whole new adventure is also what I'm hearing. Some of you might even be traveling. Traveling or moving. Some, some even to another country. Congratulations. That's pretty awesome. Oh, oh. Some of you are traveling internationally for the first time. Oh, that's really cool. All right. Why do my cancers need these stones for the month of August? Why do my cancers need these stones for the month of August? Oh, cancer. Oh, Ace of Cups in reverse and Two of Swords, Moon and Libra energy. You could have a Moon and Libra placement. Realizing that you're not in love anymore. And realizing that maybe you haven't been loyal to yourself. Maybe... Maybe giving a whole lot more of love to this other person when you've been needing it for yourself because of that disparity in, in frequency, disparity in growth. When someone's grown a lot and someone can't really keep up, the person down here needs a lot more energy and a lot more assistance sometimes. And so you've been giving, giving, trying to get them up to your level and not giving to yourself to keep it moving, to keep it going. You're ready to keep it going, Cancer. Look at that. That's beautiful energy. And you're not afraid to do this either. It's like, it's just time. It's time and you're like, I'm not in love anymore. I'm not in love anymore. I really need to give love back to myself and I need to not be stuck in this situation anymore because it's run its course. It's run its course. Overall energy, look at that. Tower in reverse. You've been avoiding this, Cancer. Some of you have really been avoiding this. Scorpionic energy could also be Aries because this is Mars influence. Underneath that, we've got the 10 of swords, Gemini energy. Oh man, and the five of cups, Scorpionic energy. This is an ending that you've been avoiding because it does make you sad. You care about this person. You don't wish this person ill, at least from the energy that I'm picking up. You don't wish this person ill, but it's time. This is a very specific message, and this is not going to be for all cancers. 
it's time to put this to an end. It's time to bring down the tower that you've been avoiding. This tower is inevitable. If you don't do this on your own terms, Cancer, Spirit's going to step in and make this tower happen, okay? Make sure it's on your terms. It'll go a lot smoother for you because it's time for a whole new cycle and some travel as well, okay? All right, Cancers. Now let's go ahead and do Leo. Leo. Happy birthday, Leo. <laughs> um, happy birthday, Leo and Virgos from my August Virgos. Leo, this is your season, man. This is your season. I don't think that we're going to get a lot of crystals for you. I wouldn't be surprised if we only get one, but let's go ahead and see what comes out. What crystals do my Leos need for the month of August? What crystals do my Leos need for the month of August? What crystals do my Leos need for the month of August? What crystals do my Leos need for the month of August? Oh, we have a peeker, Leo. Tiger's eye, very much a Leo stone. Oh, such a Leo stone. Tiger's eye. This is about abundance. It's also about career focused and stability. Success, success and prosperity, Leo. That's what's on your mind. Also completing a cycle is what I'm getting too. Completing a cycle, what's this about? Whatever cycle you need to end, Leo, it's going to just boost your confidence even more. It's going to make you feel really free. Freedom, 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 freedom. 555 as I said that. Let's see what other crystals we get out for you guys. What other crystals do my Leos need for the month of August? What other crystals do my Leos need for the month of August? Oh, what did I say? You just got the one, Leo. Just the one. Love when that happens. All right. Oh, yeah. Empowerment. Oh, geez. Come on. Come back. <laughs> Fell out of my hand. Tiger's eye. Empowerment. Symbolizes prosperity and encourages right use of power. Balances your needs with those of others. Finding solutions. A child of the sun and earth with untold powers. You make your own fate. Assert yourself wisely. Bring hidden talents to the forefront. It's forefront, but they didn't say forefront because it's misspelled. Wow. What edit, who edited this? Anyway, it doesn't matter. And accept your imperfections. There is a tendency towards obsessiveness or becoming spaced out. Ground yourself. Explore your past lives to discover causes of these traits. Deal sensibly with day-to-day -day reality and face challenges boldly. Unlock your creativity. Find prosperity and lasting success. Long journeys and celebrations lie ahead. Your personal power, confidence, and energy are high. Use them wisely. Commit to your goals. Distinguish between wishful thinking and what you really need. Assist friends to gain their heart's desire. Past lives throw light on current situations. Doing what gives you joy increases your well-being. The stone has an earthy frequency to very high, depending on the color. It's great for the solar plexus and third eye. Great for Leos and Capricorns and becoming empowered. Oh, Leo, I'm loving where this is going. Let's pull some cards and see what comes out in the tarot deck here, okay? Mm. There we go. All right. All right, Leos. Why do my Leos need tiger's eye for the month of August? Why do my Leos need tiger's eye for the month of August? Good, my guides are so funny today. Because it's your stone. Because it's your stone, Leo. That's what they're telling me. Because it's your stone. Why do my Leos need tiger's eye for the month of August? Why do my Leos need tiger's eye for the month of August? Okay, I'm not taking that. That's a lot. Why do my Leos need tiger's eye for the month of August? Why do my Leos need tiger's eye for the month of August? Oh! Sorry, I'm just really excited. Look at that, look at that! Ace of Wands and Four of Wands, Aries energy. Going for what you want. Going for what fuels your fire. Going for what you're passionate about, especially if it's a relationship. Feeling empowered enough to go for the relationship you want. Go for the job you want. Buy the house you want. Any of your goals. Any of your goals, Leo, that you have a hell of a lot of passion for, you're ready. You're taking it. You're taking it. You're going for it. You're not letting people tell you no. People are celebrating you. I do see people celebrating you. It's almost like finish line energy. 
finish line energy. Oh, this is where the completion's coming in. This is where the completion's coming in. Uh, Leos, this is something you've been wanting, but for some reason, you know, you've had some obstacles in your way that you've had to take care of, and I feel like they're a part of healing process. You know, it could just be some trauma that you've had to work through, some woundedness you've had to work through, maybe getting rid of certain relationships in your life. It's been a process. It's been a process, and now you're at the finish line. Now you're at the finish line and people are really proud of you. They're very impressed by you, very impressed by your efforts, impressed by your growth, and they want you to have this. They want you to have this. It's time for to be empowered and successful. Why do my Leos need this stone for the month of August? I just heard Capricorn. You could be doing the Capricorn. You could have that in your chart. Let's see here. Whoa. Leo, what, what the, what, 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 what's this, what's this, what is this? Wheel of Fortune, Jupiter energy, and Nine of Swords, Gemini energy. This is a hell of a lot of worrying, worrying and fretting, but it's abundance. So you would be a little scared to have it. Get over that. Oh, sorry, I didn't, Jesus, I didn't mean to say it so bluntly. I'm sorry, guys, I'm sorry, Leos, I'm sorry. I just, you're coming into something so beautiful coming to something so beautiful there's nothing to be worried about this is why you need tiger's eye this is why you need the tiger's eye because you got a little bit of worry behind there a little bit of fretting a little bit of fretting a little scared to actually have it but leo you deserve it you deserve it and you're coming to a very fortunate time tiger's eye is really going to help you get rid of that nine of swords energy okay really get rid of that let's see what else we got here why do my leos need tiger's eye for the month of august Oh, four of cups in reverse, Cancerian energy. Leah, if this is a relationship or a person you've been wanting to be with, you're kind of, you're worried about rejection. Someone, this is worrying about rejection, worrying about failing. You're not going to fail, Leo. You're not going to fail. You're not going to fail. Um, Leo, if someone's been pining after you, they're worried that you're going to reject them. Okay. There you are, Leo. Strength energy. See, just stand in your energy. Stand in your power because this is yours. You've worked hard. You've worked hard to heal yourself, to grow as a person, do the, th do the little steps, little milestones that you've had to get through to finally get here, to get to the finish line. And you deserve it. And it's your birthday. <laughs> and it's your birthday, okay? You don't need to be like this on your birthday. And if someone's feeling this way about you, it's just because you're so confident and it's just because you're coming into an amazing energy for yourself and because you've grown a lot okay someone is a little intimidated by you leo i am picking that up all of a sudden someone is a little intimidated by you they might have trouble approaching you because you are in such a great place in your life now why do my leos need this stone for the month of august just say ten of pentacles virgo energy this is yours leo you're at the finish line you deserve it you're coming into some great shit especially regarding your career and your money situation your stability your stability first and foremost and you you've worked your ass off for it you've worked your ass off for it okay i'm also feeling a strong family energy where someone's had to be strong for the family someone's had to be strong for the family someone's shining in their family as well Someone shining in their family. But it, it's almost like an energy of like so unexpected. It might be an age thing. It might be an age thing. It's like, why would it be unexpected for someone to just shine? It's like, I'm almost getting like shining star, shining star of their family. But either way, Leo, look at this energy. It's beautiful. This is a lot of stability, a lot of confidence, and a lot of abundance that you get to have that you worked your ass off for, okay? <laughs> that you worked your ass off for. Some people might feel rejected by you in your success. If you're rejecting people because they're not of your vibration or they don't deserve to be in your energy field, let let them just feel it because if that's the case, that's the case, right? But it just is what it is. You're coming into a fortunate, very lucky time as well, a very lucky time. Some people are really worried that you're just gonna like leave them at the curb. And you might leave some people at the curb. You might, but if you're doing that, it's for good reasons. It's for good reason. Overall energy, we do have Eight of Pentacles in reverse, Virgo energy. Underneath that, we do have the Star Aquarian energy. You already did this work, Leo. That's why you have the 10 here. That's why you have the 10. The eight always leads to the 10. You've already done the work and your wishes are coming true. You've done all the work on your healing process as well. You've already had that healing. And again, that shining star energy. That shining star energy, definitely within a family environment or at work, you're just shining bright, Leo. And it's beautiful and you fucking deserve it. 
you deserve it. So if people are worried that you're just going to leave them behind because they didn't treat you right or they're not of your vibration, just let them worry. It's not your business to take care of them. And I know you guys have big hearts. You guys have really big hearts. It's not your job to take care of these people. It's not your job to worry about these people. It's your job to focus on you, and that's exactly what you're doing. That's what you need to do. And if any of you are having this worry of failing, of, oh my God, I'm actually going to have this. Can I handle having this? Please get your tiger's eye on. <laughs> Please get your tiger's eye on, Leo. It's your season. There's no room for anxiety right now in your season. It's your time to enjoy. Okay? Your time to enjoy. All right, let's do Virgo, and we'll wrap this up. Virgo. What crystals do my Virgos need for the month of August? What crystals do my Virgos need for the month of August? What crystals do my Virgos need for the month of August? I'm getting a lot of like soft energy with you, Virgo. I love your energy. I always love your energy. It's always so grounding. Um, I always get along with Virgos too. I've always got along with Virgos. Uh, and every time I have a very close Virgo friend, I just, their energy just instantly calms me. Um, I am getting enlightenment energy too. Some of you are really into your spirituality right now. Very intuitive. Very intuitive. You're not sharing a whole lot of what you know though, is also what I'm getting Virgo. You're not sharing a whole lot of what you know. But let's see. Let's get into this a little bit more. Since we have no cards out yet. What crystals do my Virgos need for the month of August? What crystals do my Virgos need for the month of August? I'm hearing fun too. Some of you guys might be um, planning some fun times during the month of August for yourself. Oh, it is your birthday season too. Oh yeah, happy early birthday, <laughs> Virgos. What crystals do my Virgos need for the month of August? Ooh, Lapis Lazuli. What did I just say? You're not sharing. <laughs> You're not sharing what you know. Lapis lazuli is all about the throat chakra and communication. It's also great for respiratory issues if you're struggling with that, uh, Virgos. But yeah, this is about communication. <laughs> you're not sharing. You might need to share. You might need to share. Well, let's see. What other crystals do my Virgos need for the month of August? What other crystals do my Virgos need for the month of August? This could also just help you with the tail end of the of the post Mercury retrograde. We're in post shadow effect for Mercury retrograde. This is a great stone for Mercury retrograde for protecting your throat chakra as well. You only have one other crystal. Ooh, an andalite, an andalite. I'm not gonna repeat this one because we got this one already. Oh shit, who did we get this for? I believe it was Taurus. Was it Taurus? I believe we had this for Taurus, guys. Taurus or Aries, so go ahead and check. Taurus or Aries, we have that one already, so I'm not going to repeat that one. But I will read you Lapis Lazuli. Okay. Boop, boop. Okay. Lapis Lazuli, heavenly wisdom. Lapis Lazuli off, uh, wards off calamities of all kinds and was one of the most auspicious stones in the ancient world. You are an immortal soul who has profound connection with the heavens. Thought I was feeling a lot of enlightenment energy there. Your purpose is noble. You yearn for spiritual attunement, but may be hampered by outmoded viewpoints. Take charge of your life. Looking into the past puts your present experience into perspective. You are a lineage breaker. Make the effort to trace family history for deeper insight. They're telling me to repeat that, so I will. Make the effort to trace family history for deeper insight. There's, they just added on. <laughs> My guy just added on a little thing. Insight into yourself, okay? There is spiritual dis-ease. Work with dreams and journey inward to find deeper insights. Flashes of intuition show the way. Open your heart and third eye. Help, um, help comes from on high. That's a very wrong sentence. Help comes from on high. That's literally what it says. Help comes from on high. Don't know what word they're missing, but they're missing a word there. Enlightenment is within your grasp. Enhanced perception shows what operates beneath. Study or research um, is needed. Yours is the gift of true friendship. Protect yourself. Attuning to your divine nature enhances your well-being. This is a very high frequency stone. Great for the throat chakra, third eyes, and the crown. Great for Sagis and divine reconnection. Ooh, Virgos. Let's see what little journey you're on. I feel like some of you are definitely on a spiritual journey here. Using Rider Waite. 
the deck we're using Rider Weight as the deck. I think I said that really fast, and you guys thought I said something else. Using Rider Weight deck. Why do my Virgos need these stones? I'm gonna hold both of them one more, one, one more time because I didn't hold this one up very long. Lapis Lazuli and an Andalite. These are your stones. Write them down. Write them down. Take a screenshot. Whatever you gotta do. Okay. I just heard some of you guys go, wait. Sorry, guys. We good? Okay, thank you. Thank you. Okay. All right, why do my Virgos need these crystals for the month of August? Why do my Virgos need these crystals for the month of August? Oh, my. Death in reverse, scorpionic energy. A lot of shit from your past is coming up, Virgo. I feel like it's about past events, past trauma. Stuff you might have thought you dealt with, maybe haven't dealt with. I'm also getting communication with this as well. You might be hearing from someone from your past that you don't want to be hearing from. Getting news about something from your past that you didn't have all the information about as well. All that's for different people. Either way, it's past coming up. It's past coming up. And some of you are digging into your past, but I feel like if you're digging, it's because you need to. There's clarity that you've been missing out on, Virgo, and it's like you're, you're just done with that. It's like, I want the truth. I want the truth, the whole truth, nothing but the truth. You want the, you want all of the knowledge of, their, of your past, of your past, where you come from, past events, past wrongdoings. You're ready for the full clarity. You deserve it. You deserve it, and you're right. You do deserve it. Oh, wow. Healing. Okay. Four of Swords. Uh, Libra energy here. A lot of you are meditating very heavily and you need to meditate. I'm also getting a lot about sleep. Uh, sleep. Sleep's been a little hard for you to come by. Please be sure that you are trying to get more sleep. I know it's hard, especially if any of my light workers are watching. I know that's hard to get ample sleep. But in your sleep, a lot of stuff is coming to you through your dreams, okay? So please pay attention to that. If you're having trouble remembering or grasping, just ask your guides to help you remember before you go to bed like hey i really want to remember this i need to remember this let me remember this right to get more and more clarity and even if you feel like you're not getting the clarity you need through your dreams also talk to your guides about that let me see what i need to see show me what i need to see as i go to sleep and lay my head down okay it is also about some past pain that i'm, I'm getting to definitely some past wrongdoings that were done to you virgo definitely some past shit that was done to you and in your dream space a lot of secrets are being revealed as well about this about things that were long buried why do my virgos need these crystals for the month of august let's see what we have here wow wow i'm getting disappointment ten of swords gemini energy and the page of pentacles in reverse i'm getting a major disappointment i feel like someone didn't communicate properly or didn't come through in the way you expected them to it just led to major disappointment a lot of pain too a lot of pain of what i'm is what i'm getting someone didn't step to you or come forward in the way you expected it and you want to know why you want to know why you're going to find out why but it's going to be through your intuition and your dream space you want to know why why am i almost called you gemini so you might have some Gemini on your chart. Why do my Virgos... Oh, it is your sister sign, Mercury, right? Why do my Virgos need these crystals for the month of August? Let's see here. Three of Wands, Aries energy, and King of Swords in reverse, Aquarian energy. It could also be Gemini or Libra. I'm getting just waiting and only getting silence. Hearing crickets fucking crickets virgo i feel like you were yeah you had some expectation here i think you had an expectation of someone to come forward to you in a certain way or to come forward at all and i don't think that happened at least not in the way that you wanted and not the way you were expecting and it really was really painful for you it was really painful for you and i'm getting this energy of giving up on that person definitely giving up on that person and just this person in general i feel like has very that's what i'm looking for fickle fickle they're a little fickle they're um 
their loyalties get kind of wavered very easily, very easily, and it's based off of what they get out of it. It's, it is a little selfish, I gotta be honest. It's a little bit of a selfish energy, a little bit of a taking energy. And it's like you were waiting for this person to come in and like just silence. Silence and crickets, silence and crickets. I'm also getting ending of a friendship as well, which is really unfortunate. For some of you, there is an ending of a friendship happening, but you're getting all your answers through your dream space and through your intuition. Dream space and intuition, focus on that. Focus on that. There is something here that I do feel like needs to be communicated though. And I do feel like that, I do feel that with this Lapis Lazuli card. I feel like some of you actually just need to tell this person that you're feeling this slighted and it'll make you feel a lot better. Even if they don't respond to you, like even if you just message them and they don't respond to you, even just that I think will make you feel better. And don't let your pride get in the way of that either. Like if they don't respond, that's on them. You're just doing this for you and your own healing process, your own closure, okay? But if you've been, you've, you've been holding back, Virgo, you've definitely been holding back on some information you're aware of, um, just speak about it. Just speak about it. You will feel a lot better. And like I said, a lot of your answers are going to come through during meditation or your dream space or the 5D. And make sure you talk to your guides about what you want to know, what you want to see, and so that you can also remember these experiences, okay? Oh, Virgo, I'm sorry. Um, all right, guys, so that was the August monthly part one for Aries, Taurus, Gemini, Cancer, Leo, and Virgo. I hope it was very insightful and helpful. I will be doing weeklies again today. I know it's been a long time, but I will be doing weeklies today. Um, I hope you guys take care and have a great August, okay? Bye, guys. Have a good night and namaste.